everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm doing well myself. I'm excited to do some readings for you guys today, but I'm also going to be giving away uh, three full readings today, general readings. So, today is a paid reading live today, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we're doing um, $5 questions today. One question per person, per $5. Um, if you want to purchase a full reading, that's $20. Um, but I am going to give away three full readings today. Full give um, full general readings today. So if you want your name to be entered, please let me know. And I will enter them. Right now I'm actually cutting up strips of paper for that. So, hey guys, hey, hey, as you're coming in. So, I am doing um, $5 readings today. One question per person. And I am doing a free giveaway today. So, if you want to be entered, let me know. Hi! So if you want to be um, entered into the giveaway, because I'm doing um, three free general readings today for giveaway, but uh, if you have a question today, it's $5 reading day. Uh, that's one question per person per $5. If you want a full general reading and you don't want to wait or have your chances for the um, giveaway, uh, it's 20 But the regular price for one question is, is $5. Uh, but if you want to be entered into the giveaway, let me know. I am like cutting up slips of paper now for the giveaway. <clears throat> so. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Okay, so if you're coming in now, today is $5 reading day, so um, if you have a question that you want to be answered, um, it's $5, um, but if you want to be entered into my giveaway, I'm doing three full free, full free general readings today. I'm doing well. All right, Steph, I got you. Zuli, I got you. I'll put y'all in there. Okay. Melanin. 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 And then Stephanie. Hello, hello, hello. Sure. Pass. I got you. I'll put you in. Hi, hi. So those who are coming in today is five dollar reading day. Um, I am going to be giving away um three full general readings today. Okay, um, hello, um, $5 reading day, so my, my cash app is in my bio, so is my, all my other payment apps, so if you send, if you send the $5, um, it is in my cash app in my bio, really? <laughs> So how did it go? Did you have a conversation? So 
So, yeah, $5. The $5 reading is one question per person, but if you want a full-on blown reading and you don't want to put your chances in the giveaway, uh, that's $20. And my link tree has my cash app and all that stuff in my bio. So. Oh, that's so sweet. That's awesome. I love I love a success story. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so hold on. Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm trying to get everybody. Okay, Santiago. <clears throat> All right, spread awareness, I got you. All right, Kennedy, what is your question, sweetheart? Oh, that's congratulations, Kennedy. Hi. Okay, so um Kennedy, let's see then, okay? But congratulations. I know you work hard for it because uh those are not good those are not easy license to just get on whim. So I see those licenses like that, like esthetician and all that stuff. I see those as like same thing as like a cosmetology license. Those things are not easy because your your field is always changing. Okay, Monday, I got you. I'll put you on the giveaway, sweetheart, okay? And by the God's willing of the universe, you'll get it. I hope you do. All right, so let's see, Kennedy. Let's see if you chose the right path. I heard um, getting taking those classes and getting that license is not cheap either. So I hope <laughs> you did choose the right path for it. Okay, so um, you have uh, some boundaries that is going to step into your your path in terms of your your career. So right now. Uh, I wouldn't say that you have chosen the right career path, okay? So I would want you to like reassess it and figure out what is, if this is something you really truly want to do, okay? Hi, hi, hi. All right, Queen Mika, I will enter you into the giveaway, sweetheart. Okay, so I'm also, um... I am doing a giveaway for three full general readings. Okay, so the giveaway is for general readings. Those have, um, it's not it's not a question reading now. Those those the giveaway readings are not question readings. Those are just a general overall of your life. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> So, if you enter the giveaway, that's what you will be getting, a full general reading of an overview of your life. No, you did not. The, the card says, 
according to I can pull again if you if you would like and see if you get a different answer. But according to the cards, it says no. Because you're gonna have um some more uh boundaries in your way. No, um, this is the five dollar reading live, okay. So, um, but I am giving away uh, three full readings today. They are <laughs> that you um, can't enter the giveaway for. It. It's three full general readings, okay. So, all right, let me get a bag because I, my box is still occupied. I have to get a new box for my giveaways, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, just say you want to be entered. Hold on, hold on. I want to get everybody. <laughs> okay. All right, King. Let me write you down. Stacy, can you um ask a little nicely, nicer, please? I I would I would like to be asked nicely. <laughs> Shell, I got you. Thank you. Kennedy, I got you. Yes, you can, sweetheart. Good morning. Well, it's afternoon here, but good morning to you. All right, Kay, I got you. Hey, everybody that's coming in. I am doing um, $5 readings today. The $5 readings are one question per person per reading. Um, if you want a full-on reading... And you don't like want to wait for my giveaway. Um, those are twenty dollars. But we're doing the first draw of the giveaway now. So let's see. All right, the first winner is Santiago. Are you still in here, sweetheart? I think it was like B Santiago, I think. Hold on, let's see. Okay. So I don't think Santiago is in here anymore. So Hey Tux, how are you? Alright, so since Santiago is not in here anymore, let's pick the next one. And that makes me sad because they, they they miss out on their reading. Hi guys, hi guys. 
Uh, do y'all want to be entered into the giveaway? I'm doing um, four free general readings, three of them today, in the giveaway. What do I practice? Um, hoodoo. You're, you're like the first person who actually asked me what I practice. <laughs> I most of the time just call it spiritualism so people won't like lose their crap. Okay, so Dolores, I got you. All right, hold on. All right. All right, Jam, I got you. Keisha, I got you. <laughs> All right, Dottie, I got you. Yeah, the first person I pulled was no longer in um, no longer in the in the call. So, um, but I'm doing five dollar readings today, unless you want to be entered into my giveaway, which is a full free reading, and those. Uh, readings are general so the overall view of your life basically um but the five dollar readings are one question per person per reading um if you want a full reading and you don't want to wait for the giveaway um those are twenty dollars Okay, so um, if you want to do the five dollar reading, uh, one question per person reading, those my link tree in my bio has my Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, all of that. Thank you for the gifts. All right, I got you, Tux. Tux, I have to get into the mode of calling you Ari because uh, Ari because I I want to call you Tux all the time now. <laughs> Okay. All right, so let's try this again, this this pool. All right, Olivia. I know, I know. I just, I want to call you Tux all the time now. And I just, it's because your first name is stuck with me. Even though you tell me it's Ari, I'm, I'm still going to be like, I know, but I always call you Tux. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's try this pulling again. Um, let's see if the first winner is back in here. Uh, Santiago, are you back in here? Okay, well, I guess not. All right. So, the winner of the first reading, since the first winner left, K. K. Come up. K A Y <laughs> K are you still in here sweetheart Hey okay All right so you won the general reading so I am going to show you and tell you what the general reading is and then we can start okay Um we're doing um $5 readings today 
for the for the people that are coming in. Uh, Kay just won my first giveaway. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Kay just won the first giveaway, so that's what we're doing now. We are going to give her her giveaway. And then we're going to do Dottie's reading after the giveaway. Okay, Dottie? All right. So, let me explain to you what you're going to be getting, like, uh, your reading now. Okay. All right, so... Okay, for your reading, my general readings have three different card decks, okay? So it just gives you an overall view of your life and what you need to be doing and what needs to, or what is happening and all that type of stuff, okay? So, let's see here. I'm going to take out, because I have three different card decks that I like to use in the general reading because that encompasses all parts of your, your life, okay? So... All right, Kay. So this first one um, is your physical self. So it talks about your uh, family, friends, career, relationships will come up in this one. And then your inner self, we talk about your inner self. So your inner self is um, your emotional, mental self, but also like your, your intuition, okay? And then... You have the last one, which is your spiritual self. So it would be your spirit guides, your ancestors, uh, your guardian angels, all those things, okay? So, and I shuffle each card deck three times. Whatever comes out, those are yours. I cannot put them away. I start with the physical self because the last two tend to make people cry. So we don't, we don't start with the hard hitting just as quick, okay? So... We're going to start your reading now, Kay. All right? Yeah. Awesome about the Rebel Tech. I am so excited for you. You're going to be reading people for filth with that deck. I can't wait. All right, guys. So this is my bell. My bell is to use for cleansing. So if you have headphones on or anything like that, be um, wary. No, Christina, this is not. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Today's live is... Five, uh, $5. It depends, really. All right, so, bail. All right. Okay, are you ready? Second shuffle. All right, final shuffle. Okay, so. All right, so in your physical self, you have four cards that come up, okay? We have. Interesting. Your, your, your physical self is kind of chaotic right now, right? But the thing is, it's an interesting cha chaotic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got this from Five and Below. If you're in the States, you should know what Five and Below is. But, like, yeah, it's the Cuddle Monster. <laughs> so, um, all right. Okay. It just seems like your, your, life, your physical self, in terms of, um, family and friends, maybe a possible relationship. Um, the only reason why I say possible because um, this card has several different meanings, but one of the main meanings is that there is a relationship on the rise or that someone's in a relationship. Okay? So you got the love card here. <laughs> yeah, so you got the love card here. 
So this shows me that you are either in a relationship or a new relationship is on the rise for you. Um, but the thing is, is that you are having some major obstacles thrown your way. And it's, I feel like it's, it's a friend that is really, um, putting your physical health in like, I wouldn't say danger, but I'm just saying like, it's a, uh, they, they stress you out the most, right? And that's only because, now, the, the only reason why I say it's, it's like that is because you got the card that, like, triggers my big sister mode and I want to, like, fight for you and whatnot. And that's only because you got this card here, which is the shapeshifter. So, with this card, it shows me that you have someone in your presence who is showing you one face. But then when they go to somewhere else, they're showing everybody else a different face. And I just feel like um, with them doing that, they're being fake to you. And and sometimes I can say that, you know, this is not, um, it's not intentional. But I truly believe that this person is intentional. Because the fact that you got this plus ob obstacles is not... Uh, it's not a good sign for me. And it's not like letting you know that. And then what even seals the deal even more K okay for me is you having this card here, which is selflessness, basically. And this means that you are very much always um, trying to help people out and trying to uh, care for others. And you just, to the point where it's like really... Um, hurting your spirit and hurting your um but how you do it is like as long as you're helping someone you're like it's okay it's okay i'll rest later if they need my help i'm going to help them but the thing is it's detrimental to your your um your growth when you do that you're doing all these things for everybody else but who's going to do something for you? Can you do something for yourself too? Hold on. Making sure Kay is still in here because I don't want to do the rest of her reading. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right, Kay. I was just trying to make sure you're still in here. All right. Yeah. No. But see, that's the thing, sweetheart. You are such an amazing person. You have let people talk down to you and encourage you to change how you are just so they can they can deal with you. See, here's the thing. There's this saying that says that people always who have the biggest heart are always trying to cut themselves into smaller pieces for people who don't deserve it. If they can't take you as they are. Let their ass fucking choke. Quit cutting yourself up into pieces. So you are very much more digestible for them. If they can't take who you are. If they can't love who you are. No. 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 Let their ass fucking choke. They'll be alright. They will be fucking alright. <laughs> like. No. Don't. Don't. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't even let them do that to you okay yeah don't even let them do that to you but um do you have any questions before we move on to your inner house which is your uh men mental and emotional <laughs> yeah that's so silly Okay, all right, let's go on to your inner self. Okay, this is the first of the deep ones, okay? So, look at that. I didn't even get a chance to shuffle, and a card is already popping out. Uh, it's $20 for a full reading. But if you just have one question, it's $5. My link tree 
and my bio has my cash app my venmo and my paypal so when the alert comes through i will see it okay making sure hold on all right and then last shuffle okay so for your inner house you have three cards that are upright that means that you already know what's going on and you really just need to uh amplify those some more and most of the times when you have cards that are already flipped up they are um things that you need confirmation on and then you have two that are face down so those are hidden from you you don't really pay attention to those all that well okay so let's go over the ones that you have already up so right now you are in searching for my purpose mode um so you are really trying to make sure that you're honoring your purpose okay so as you're doing that you're like okay i need to find my purpose what makes me happy what makes me tick and i'm not even gonna say try to turn your career because i used to say that turning your career into like your um your passion into your career don't do that don't do that because hi hi jessica because sometimes uh it gets very stressful when you try to turn your your passion into a career okay so but your purpose it doesn't even have to do with your your career some of the times okay so take your time and find your purpose it's okay that you don't have it at this moment nobody just has their purpose on a whim okay nobody knows their purpose on a whim so it's called self journey self understanding self love okay which is one of the things that you have been working on okay which, um, Christina, which one? My um, sun sign or my big three? So you have all these things here that you really do need to love yourself more. Okay? You really need to hold it in and be like, look, this is what I I need to do this. You're quick to tell somebody else they're beautiful. You're quick to tell somebody else they're smart. They're lovely. They're amazing. But you can't tell yourself that. So I'm going to need you to look in the mirror and go, I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm courageous. I can do this. You need to be able to go, I got this. I can do this. Okay? So, uh, my sun sign, my big three is, my sun sign is Pisces. My moon sign is Libra. And my rising sign is Capricorn. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, also, your next card you got, okay, is um release it's time for you to release sweetheart okay it is very much time for you to release i'm 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 gonna sit here and say i'm upset with you i'm upset with you because you the presence that you have is such a divine presence like you ooze divinity like you just ooze it. you could be walking down the street and you just feel it but the moment somebody says something to you you go oh yeah you're right and you let that humble you to the point where you don't even believe that you are worthy of anything and i'm not gonna sit here and say that's all traumatic either it could just be your brain makeup okay but you really need to release those negative thoughts because that's all you're holding on to it'd be different if you were holding on to positive and negative because that's a balance everything in nature is a balance right but you only focus on the negative if something that if something positive was to happen you go oh that's gonna happen that's gonna stay here for a while and that's it and then it's gonna be done right that's how you feel like you you just feel like it's gonna definitely just be um all gonna happen for that split second and that's it but that's not how it goes that's not how it works it's never how it's worked okay so every time something good happens you have to know that yes good can continue to happen just because something bad happens you go well i just knew it wasn't gonna last you sit out there putting out that negative and and real don't even realize why you keep getting back negative 
put out that positive too, okay? Um, so, but the thing is, you have um, two that are hidden, okay? You have two that are hidden, okay? So, that one is redemption. Your healing is redemption. That's it. Okay? So, quit looking for outside sources to redeem yourself. You want to redeem yourself, say, I love you to yourself. You want to redeem yourself, say, I'm going to heal myself. You want to redeem yourself to yourself? Don't even, don't even be sitting here going like, trying to figure out, oh, well, maybe if I change my hair color, or maybe if I buy these new clothes, or maybe if I do that, I'll think highly of myself. No, no, no. You have that inside. You got to work on that, honey. You got to work on that. And it ain't going to come easy. It's not something that you can just sit here and go, oh, this is what I'm going to have. Okay? It's a strategy to these things. Everything that I tell you might not work for you. It's something that you have to learn to figure out what works for you, okay? So, um, that is your inner self. So, if you have no questions, we can move on to your spiritual self, which is the final part of your reading. And then we can go to Dottie, okay? Okay, so no, um, we're doing $5 readings today, $5 per, per uh, question per person, per reading. Um, but I'm also giving away, uh, give away full general readings and there's two of those left. So you can enter for those as well. But if you want a full reading and not just one question, you can do uh, $20. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Leslie. You will be after Dottie, okay? Dottie, um, I'm almost done with Kay's reading, so please have your questions ready, okay? Or put them in the Q&A box. All right, and last shuffle. Um, for the giveaway, you can just say that you want to be a part of the giveaway. Okay, so you have two cards, Kay, that popped out in your spiritual. So you have one that is up and one that is down. So, the one that is up, you are very much in the, um, understanding of finding your conscious connections. Thank you, Dottie, for putting your questions in the Q&A box. So you're very much trying to um, find people that vibe well with you, your tribe, okay? So that's good, and that's keep going with that, okay? But remember, when life gets you down, you sit your ass down somewhere, and you restore and replenish yourself, okay? Quit waiting on um, things to go, well, now I can time, I can rest. No, rest when you have to. Rest when you need to, okay? So... Quit, quit rushing. No, she hasn't, which is interesting because she normally does, so she can claim a reading like she did last time. So, yes, you, you really do have to um, allow yourself that growth, okay? All right, Alyssa, I got you. I'm putting you in the giveaway now, sweetheart. And... Seven boss lady, I'm putting you in a giveaway too. Okay. Um, All right. So, Kay, do you have any questions on your reading, sweetheart? All right, Kay, see, I'll put you in there, sweetheart. You're welcome, Kay. All right. 
Okay. All right. So, Dottie, you put in ten dollars, so that was two five dollar questions. All right. So we're gonna pull up your first one. Okay. So your first one says, um, "Was moving to Maryland a good choice?" All right. So let's see here. I hope it was a good choice for you because if you're already there, I hope it was a good choice for you. I honestly do because to be already there and it's not a good choice, that would be heartbreaking. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So let's see here. Apparently not. It was not a good choice for you. Um, I think you have some other stuff that is like um, really holding you back. So uh, you taking it. I mean, it was a you thought about it for a while before you you jumped into it, but it's still. Um, I don't think it's going to pan out the way you want it to be panned out. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right. And so your next one is a uh, general love reading. So, Dottie, are you looking for love, sweetheart? Sorry, I didn't mean to get rid of your question, but um, I know it's a general love reading. Okay. I am, but wanted to find me. No, no, no. That absolute makes sense, Dottie. That absolutely makes sense. Okay, I just needed to know if you were looking. Okay, so we're going to see what um, your general love reading has to say. All right? So let's see. Your next relationship. This will tell me what your next relationship is going to be like. What, um, what you're going to gain from it and all that stuff. Okay. Hello. All right. Oh, I, look, I totally understand that. All right, so Dottie, um, your next relationship is going to come from a different path than you are on, okay? So, um, it does not mean that y'all won't get along. It just means that y'all going to have different backgrounds, different paths, okay? Uh, so, also, I'm doing well. Also, don't make your... Uh, love like your main mission as this point in time okay so it's like keep the door open don't but don't be focusing on all of the things that uh you need to do in order to bring someone to you you know what i mean so it's just saying you know quit focusing on the closed doors of love and focus and just keep your door open that's it and then um, your last one is the next one is most likely going to end in an it well like I wouldn't say it's gonna end it's gonna it's gonna result in an engagement okay so um, your next one is most likely going to if you play your cards right your mo your next one is gonna most likely uh, result in an engagement which is something good for you okay but that just depends on whether or not you want to be married because I know some people who don't want to be married but <laughs> you know it just depends okay 
So hold steady with your own beliefs. Continue to work on yourself. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Leslie. Are you in here, sweetheart? Today we're doing $5 readings today, guys. So if you haven't paid, you will not get read. I will literally just remove them. Like I'm doing now. Hey, all right, so... um. Leslie, what was your question, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, okay, Alexis. All right, you're next, sweetheart. I did see your payment, so you're next, okay? Hello. All right, you want a general love? Are you looking for love, Leslie? Or are we talking about a situation? Okay, we're looking for love. All right. So let's see what your next relationship is going to result in, what it's going to be like, what's going to come through, okay? one you have to open yourself to love okay it is a, it's safe for you to let your heart be seen so don't be scared okay again you got you got to keep the door open also um you're gonna have difficulties within your next relationship because of you not being able to convey uh the traumatic experiences that you've had with love, okay? Hi, how you doing? I miss you too. I have to get down there soon. Um, Sasha said I can come see her for a week when she gets back. So, I'm going to be down there. Because I miss all you guys. Thank you. So, um, the y'all both are going to have like difficulties because... Of the fact that y'all are um, bad at conveying emotional problems and trauma that y'all have experienced. So your best bet is for you to get the help that you need. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't spoken to her all day. That's weird. I have no idea where she's at. I feel so heartbroken. Will do. But also, um, your last card, Leslie, is the deepening. So that means that you're going to have a deeper connection with this person than everybody else that you've had in your past. Okay? Uh, so I think that's what's really going to make it uh, the difficulties of, of emotional help is what's, it's what's y'all gonna need, okay? So if you need to go therapy and talk about it with them, do so. But, like, work on it, okay? So, yeah. Alright. Uh, no, I do not, Christine. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Alright, so, Alexis. Are you in here, sweetheart? You're welcome. All right, we're going to do bail. We're going to do the bail. Okay, so if you got 
headphones on and stuff, please be careful. All right. Okay, so you want to know if your future will involve Bailey at all. Okay. Let's see. Most people do. You know, I had a few complain about it last live, but that's because I caught them off guard, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so apparently, according to these cards, your future is not going to be involving Bailey at all. Okay, as it stands in this moment, don't mean that it won't change. It just means with the circumstances of this moment, your future will not involve Bailey. Okay. I'm sorry, I know that's probably not the answer you wanted to hear, but you're welcome. All right, so I think I'm going to pull the next winner of the second general reading. Okay. All right, so let's see. Hi, 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 hi. All right, so let's see. The next winner... Is Olivia? Are you in here, Olivia? Latasha, if you pay five dollars, sweetheart, you can have your reading. My readings are five dollars today. And that's one question per person. Yes, Cash App. Cash App is in my bio, my link tree. Uh, the $5 readings are one question per person, per reading. Um, if you want a full reading, that is $20. I don't think Olivia's here. Oh, no. Is Olivia here? All right, all right, well, you know, I, I can't, I can't hold the reading, which is sad, and uh, they can't, they can't, I know, I know, but like, if, if they were, if this was free reading day, that would be great, I would hold it for her, but no, uh, <laughs> so let's see here, all right, the next winner is Casey. Casey, are you in here, sweetheart? Yeah, Casey. I guess Casey is not there either. All right. Well, all right, Jesus. All right, next person, because Casey's not here too. Let's see, let me check. All right, so Casey's not here. All right, Keisha. Keisha, are you here? I'll keep pulling until I get somebody that's here. It's crazy how they, they, they'll just sign up for it and then leave. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Mm, mm, 
Well, look at look at them missing all their blessings. All right. Alyssa. Alyssa, are you in here, sweetheart? Goodness. Mm-mm-mm. All right, well, next. I don't think they're here either. All right. <clears throat> oh, well, like, look, they act like they don't want to, <laughs> you know. All right, so the next winner is Tux. And I know Tux is here because Tux is my moderator. So I know she's here. Uh, you just say that you want to be entered into the giveaway. I can enter you into the last giveaway that I'm going to do. Tux is my moderator. That's the pale-ass Negro. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> All right. It's Dolce L. I'll enter you into my last one. Jenny, I'll enter you in the last one, too. Please stick around and don't leave like the 20 other people before you. All right. It's still cheating. All right. It's not you. I got you in the in there, too, for the last giveaway. All right, Tux. All right, but look, though, did you just not see, like, I had, let's see, before Tux, I had one, two, three, four people. Four people. You want to pick the decks, Tux? Yes, you can pick the decks, okay? But you know, it's a general reading now. You just going to have different decks, okay? All right, Christina, I'll put you in the giveaway, sweetheart. All right, so hold, hold on, Tux. I'll let you pick the decks. <laughs> okay. So, for your physical self, you can use this one. This one. Or this one um i'm doing five dollar readings um if you want a full reading that's 20 but if you want one question per person per reading that is five dollars um yeah this one okay all right so and then for your inner self you have this one and this one. So which one? <laughs> gold. All right. You and your gold. Okay, and then the last one is this one or this one. If you um, if you notice, my moderators get special treatment. So if they win my giveaway, they get to choose their decks. All right. So let's let's get it in with your um, 
Your reading tux. No, it just is doing that itself. It took itself off a of shuffle, sorry. <laughs> no, it took it off a of shuffle. Because <laughs> if you notice, it was playing all kinds of songs. It took itself off a of shuffle. And so it was just playing all the dynamite versions. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I put it back on shuffle now. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was playing the same song. <laughs> All right. You say hopefully like you think they not going to do it. They'll do it. All right. I'm going to do your last shuffle. All right, so your first, uh, your physical self had two cards. All right, so they're bringing out your um, your uh, boundaries. They're talking about your boundaries, okay? So you really need to hold up your boundaries and be like yeah yeah no you can't do that anymore i don't care how how wonderful they're acting towards you now i don't care how like lovely they may seem right now uh no keep your boundaries up quit putting it down every time somebody treats you with the slightest little bit of niceness you want to drop your, your guard down no stop doing that Stop doing that. Also, it's it's time for you to start putting movement behind your uh your words now because you you talk a lot of mess. You talk a lot of mess where you just want to uh, do all these things, but not once have you did it. Not once have you did it. All you have did is said, "I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this for myself. I'm gonna keep doing it for myself." And you don't do it. And you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, for a split second. I'm the, you're not even sitting and trying to tell me that lie. You be having that wall up for a split second. And then as soon as you get comfortable around somebody, you want to drop it down. Don't, don't No, we, we, we not, no. You forget who you talking to. I know you be lying. <laughs> So yeah, no. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta let that go, okay? Also, you know, if you're gonna do something, like I said, if you want, if you gonna say you, I'm gonna do this for myself, do it, do it for yourself. Quit lying, quit lying. If you ain't gonna do it, don't say it. Okay. All right, do you have any questions before we go into your inner self? Of course you have boundaries for love. Because you laugh at that every time somebody bring it up. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Are you ready for your inner self? Oh, sweat blast. <laughs> oh man. Tux. 
Так. Ой. Так. Ой. Окей. Окей. You a trip. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, quick. Hold on. Thank you. I had to grab it because it was on floor. All right. For one, you need to start recognizing the patterns that you got going on in your inner self. Okay. I believe we talked about this before. It was me, you, and Cats. We were talking about uh, your patterns. Uh, we were all talking about all our patterns. So. You have all these patterns and you have yet to see the pattern. You know that, oh, this is how I feel sometimes, but then you don't realize what brings it on or what triggers it, anything like that. So what you're doing is sitting here being content in that, that, uh, that sludge, so to speak. You're content in it. Because you don't want to deal with it. So as you're deal as you're uh like you notice it for a split second and then you go like, hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll you'll be like straight up, I have no idea what you're talking about. But then when you're by yourself, you're like, you know what? Right, right. But then you you won't even you won't even do nothing. You won't even do nothing about it. It's like you see your your own toxicity but won't do anything about it. Right? So your uh your spirit guides have been very much blowing you up with illumination of all your faults and all the things that you need to be changing. Even the things that are considered good, like you wanting to help people out, but you don't know how to uh stop helping people who don't need your help. Or shouldn't have your helps, I should say. Right? Who does it? Oh, it's Eric. Okay, I was just going to say. Because at first he was starting to sound like Jay Parker. I was like, uh-uh, we don't play Jay, Jay Parker around here. Okay, no, that's Eric. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, so, um, but yes, uh, your, your inner self is trying to find a balance. Really trying to find balance and really trying to find peace for you. Right? They're trying to find peace for you. The thing is, though, you will put, protect everything. And I'm talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. You will, you will protect it all instead of releasing what you need to release. So as you're protecting all of these things, you go, you know what? Well, it is what it is. And then they, I'm just going to have fun. Like, fuck it. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll worry about it later. In your mind, your bullshit and the stuff that you need to get rid of is a problem for future tucks. And you need to stop that. You need to legit stop that. You're waiting for somebody else to fix your problems when you know it's got to be you. You know you have to address them someday. Yes, um, it's $5 for one reading, one question per person. But if you want a full reading, which is what I'm doing right now because it was a part of the giveaway, it's $20. Right. Right. It's a coping mechanism for her. It really is. Okay, so do you have any questions before we move on to your final part of your reading, which is your spiritual? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can. It, it just says, like, they resonate with you. Mm-hmm. All right. So, 
So Tux, we ignoring we ignoring the spirit guides now. Mm hmm. Yes, this is actually one of the um, Christina. This is one of the uh, giveaway readings now. I do free readings on Wednesday. So. Um, yeah, stop doing that, Tux. Quit ignoring. Why are you ignoring? Why are you ignoring them? She doing too much. You doing too much. <laughs> you, you doing too much. I mean, is she telling you to harm her? No. Is she telling you to harm somebody? Is she telling you to harm her, harm yourself? If she ain't doing any of those, she valid. She okay. Oh. So she wants you to mess with this Justin dude. Interesting. <laughs> Probably because it's time for you to start releasing people. Maybe you need to let go of this Justin dude. Let him go. Mm-hmm. So you must... Why you don't want to let him go? So, if they're not in your, if they, why do you got his number? He was ex friend. Okay, well he need to stay an ex friend. <laughs> He need to stay an ex friend. It says listening for the truth. What is the truth? Tux, tell the truth. Like, how did he become an ex friend? He became an ex-friend. How did he become an ex-friend? Interesting. So what you think you need to do about that? I interesting. So what do you think you need to do about that? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's on growth. Now do what you're supposed to be doing. Because apparently this person is part of your collaborative dreaming, meaning that this person, you can talk to them about any and everything. And you chose to be that way. Also, why you stop writing? Huh? You stop writing? <laughs> this card here. They're telling on you. This is my writer's card. And my intuition is saying, oh, she needs to start back writing. So that means you stop writing. You stop doing everything. Is that the reason why your ass ain't been on this live like you normally would be on live? Because for, for those who don't know, Tux is one of my Tux is one of my OG people. Like when I first started doing lives, she was here. So for about a good 
Four or five lives, she hadn't been here. Living up doing what, Tux? Doing what? Not apologizing when you're supposed to be? You need to start back writing. I know that's difficult because you do got ADHD. Okay? So, uh, find, find some, um, right, see? Find some, uh, some topic, some journal prompts, like my book. You know what? Yeah, every day I'm on TikTok doing those journal prompts. You can write those. I'm probably going to try to put them into all of a one category so that way you can have them all as a list. Right. Now she needs to be dedicated to her greatness. That's what I need her to do. I don't care if she showed her face up in one more live ever in existence. I just need her to be great. Regardless. So I'm going to need her to show dedication to herself. And her growth. And honoring who she is. The divine being of who she is. That's what I need. Okay. So. Um, let's see. All right, we're gonna pull the, the final reading. And then if any, nobody else like buys a reading, we'll go. All right. The final person to win a reading. Hold on. Sorry. All right, um, you holding a grudge against yourself because you never forgive yourself. You just go, oh, I'm not feeling bad about it anymore, so I might as well just let it go. That ain't how it works. All right, so the final person, Dolores, are you still in here? I don't think Dolores is still in here. All right. So Dolores is not in here anymore. All right. So that per that person's not in here either. I'm looking at my thing. Hold on. Let me check it. That person's not in here either. Goodness. We're doing it again. All right. Okay, not in here. All right. Let me check. Yeah, they're not in here either. All right, seven boss lady. I know you in here. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my numbers because they, they show me who were all in here. And all of the ones I pulled before wasn't in here. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's get in. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so the final winner of today's live was um, Boss Lady, okay? Uh, if you entered the giveaway and it didn't win this time, I'm sorry, but there will be another giveaway on... Um, Uh, they'll go back down to one giveaway per live next week. Okay, so Wednesday. 
it'll be one. And but that's also my my uh free readings. Okay. So let's get started with your general. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the bell. All right, so guys, we got the bell, okay? Okay. All right, let's get it started. <laughs> Okay, so apparently you don't have any hidden ones, and these are all confirmation for you. Hi. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Okay, so it seems as though you're you're seeking, you're coming to them right now to seek guidance, and they know this. Okay, they they're noting that we see you, we hear you, and we are here. Okay, so they're letting you know that this is guidance for you, uh, the guidance that you asked for. Okay, so now. What the things that you are choo choosing to do in your life, there is a war, okay? So it's not like a physical war, but it's like you are... All right, tell Gigi, I said, hey. Um, you are really trying to uh, fight against the whole world to do what you need to do, okay? And do what you have to do for your life, right? But the thing is... You're forgetting how much wisdom you have accumulated over the years uh, with uh, what you're trying to do and, and push forward and all that stuff. The thing is, you need to find your own balance. And finding your own balance is something that is a foreign, um, a foreign, like, subject to you because you're like my life has always been chaotic there's never been a balance so i don't understand <laughs> but that's the thing with you um with your hold on you have a business i i want to ask because um, do, the only reason why I ask, and it's not because your name, because you know, some people just have that. Okay. 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 So the only reason why I ask is because it's clearing the way for that. Okay. It's clearing the way for that. Quit fighting against the current goal with the flow. Okay. That's where your balance is. And also reason why I also know that is because you got the traveling card. That is a major uh, business opportunity, okay, coming your way. So it's up to you to go, you know, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to go. I'm going to reach for it, okay? So as you're doing that, you're going to have a huge wave of abundance coming your way. So um, there was that was the reason why I asked if you had a business already because that would just amplify it. But if you are trying to start a business, hi, if you're trying to start a business, this is showing me that you are in the right uh, path of doing so. Uh, just make sure 
I always tell people who are trying to start a business. Yeah, but you missed it. You missed it, sweetheart. I'm sorry, say Joe, you missed it. But um, so I always tell people who are trying to start a business to do the the necessary um research. Make sure they're not cutting corners and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, they they're very much in your corner with that, okay? So they're like, you want a guidance? Here you go. Okay, here you go. So, do you have any questions before we move on to your um, inner self? Okay. not doing free readings today I am doing paid readings my my paid readings are five dollars per question per person per reading if you want a full reading that's twenty dollars my cash app and all that stuff is in my bio okay all right so you have two that are turned over boss lady you have two that's turned over and two that's upward okay so you're going to start getting major inspiration for your business okay you're also going to be major inspiration for your life like, shit that used to make sense to you that you wanted to always start doing and all this stuff, you're like, mm, you're, you're now second guessing it now. And that's because you have, your vibration has been raised past that level, okay? So you are really kind of like not wanting to hold back anymore in terms of your own personal life. And it's not... Um, you noticing that things that should change it is just that you notice that you have a bounty a plentiful bounty of things coming your way so you holding back is could be your own hindrance but if you are like really wanting to go forth with your life and recognize your greatness and step into it that's what is happening okay so as you're doing this though the things that are hidden from you is that you really need to step up your game for your healing, okay? You really need to do what you gotta do. I know that it's scary and that it's hard sometimes, but if you really do need to uh, deal with your shit, deal with your shit. Healing is not some happy-go-lucky, um, I meditated one day or went to ter therapy one day uh, issue. That's not how we're going to heal. Okay. It took us years to get that traumatic experiences up. It took us years to do with that, that traumatic mess coming around and all that stuff. It took us years. So, um, as you're doing that, hold on. Let me, I think that's it. Okay. So, yeah, you really need to do that. But also, again, again, they're, t they're gearing you up for some major changes, some overhauls. Okay. So, I will need you to be ready for that. Suit up and be ready for that. Because you got some new beginnings coming your way. All right. So, they're just trying to make sure that you are ready for what you are trying to do. Hold on, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back, guys. Hold on, I'm not going anywhere. I'll just be, I gotta check something. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure. All right, hey guys. All right. Okay, awesome. Okay. All 
now. Okay. So awesome, awesome. Okay. Thank you. All right, so your spiritual self. Are we ready, boss lady? Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Yes, I am. I'm on every Wednesday and, and Saturday. All right, boss lady, are we ready for your spiritual self? All right. Okay, second shuffle. I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, pull your cards, and you wasn't here to receive the message. <laughs> okay. All right. Last shuffle. Okay. No, I'm not, sweetheart. My my readings today are five dollars for one question per person per reading. And if you want a full reading, it's twenty dollars. Okay. All right. So, boss lady, they are adamant about you understanding this messages from them because you got two, two of my ancestor cards that popped out. Okay. So they are very much adamant about you understanding this message for you from them. Okay. So it says, beyond the mind, the heart beats, and visions of life beyond death. They mean that they are right there with you. They're giving you this, and they want you to understand that this is from them. You got blessings coming from them. Also, they want you to have faith in the process. You've always been uh, quick to try to give up on something when it didn't go your way. Don't give up. Have faith in the process. It may seem hard now, but I guarantee you it is something that you've been waiting on your entire life for you to have, okay? So keep going. Keep pushing. Don't give up, okay? So do you have any questions? They very much do love you. Matter of fact, hold on. I'll give you I'll give you a spirit card. Okay? Spirit card. Your spirit card says, <clears throat> Don't lose sight of the truth. You came here to evolve and grow. It is necessary to experience the difficult times. That is when you will grow the most. There's always light at the end of your tunnel. Be proud of your journey. Okay? All right. So, let's see who's next. Um, okay. Queen City. Aaron. Okay, what was your question, sweetheart? Because you, you chose the one question per person, you know, per reading. So, what is your question, sweetheart? You're welcome, boss lady. Okay, it says you had a crossroads in your relationship and living situation. Okay. So what are you what are you looking for? Anything on that or what should you do? Okay. Let's see here. Since that's matters of the heart, we're gonna we're gonna pull a card or two for that, okay? Okay. 
So hold on. Let me let me. I'm gonna pull a card for that too. Okay? All right. So you want to know if you should leave? We're gonna we're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. So um, the question is, the answer is no. Okay. Oh, I got it from uh, Five Below. If you're in the States, it's a store called Five and Below. Okay. So, um, the question, the answer to your question, if you should leave, um, it says no. And the reason being is because you need to show more commitment. You tend to try to run every time something goes down. Uh, Communicate your feelings. Quick holding them back, okay? Communicate. If communication does not work, then that's when you can leave, okay? But please communicate with comprehension. Understand that it's a, it's a journey that you got to learn. So take your time, okay? All right, um, Ski Baby. I think that's what you're saying now? Yes, Ski Baby. What was your question, sweetheart? You're welcome. All right, what was your question, sweetheart? You're welcome. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, Queen City. I know you wanted to hear, oh, no, girl, leave him or leave them, whoever they are, you know, leave them and, and go on about your business because you want to start over. If you want to start over, say that. <laughs> All right, uh, Ski Baby, you say you're trying to find your spirit guides. Oh, Okay. So let's see what they have for you and how you can go about finding them. Um, that would be a separate question. So which question do you want me to answer? Okay. Okay. Okay, so they say you want to know how to find us? Go beyond normal. Quit trying to be cookie cutter, clean, and all that. Okay? So they're like, you need to stop doing that. So... Uh, yeah. It's time for you to start being your true self. Especially when, how you think about things. It's time to elevate your thinking. Okay? Oh, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. Spirit guides can be very much bold. I'm, I'm telling you, they will tell all your shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right and so danielle uh, which is uh okay pixie okay so pixie you you got a full reading so what um subject do you want or do you want just a general reading so yeah do you do you have a subject in mind for your your full reading or do you just want a general as a general covers your overall love ish. Okay, all right. So, are you in a relationship, or are you trying to um, find love? Okay, so 
we're doing five dollar readings today for one question per person if you want a full reading it is twenty dollars okay my cash app and venmo and paypal all that are in my bio so if you want one question per person per reading that is five dollars if you want a full reading uh, that is 20 okay so you say you don't have you're not looking but you have a future boyfriend you think oh you call him okay I know Christine I'm so sorry people keep telling me I need to get Zale I think <laughs> I think I need to yeah okay so well, we're going to see. All right. So from what I gather, you want to see what a relationship with this person would be like. And if it's something that you should pursue. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to end up breaking this lamp. I keep hitting it with my elbow. All right. So let's see here. We're going to see what the inner self, like what your mental and emotional will be like. Like what they're coming with and what. Oh, really? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to see what you're, what you're coming in with and what they're coming in with and what y'all basis will be if y'all get into a relationship together, okay? We're going to start off there. Since you pay for a full reading, we're going to be here. So one of y'all are coming in with self-love, like straight up, y'all need some self-love. And that's the reason why y'all are holding back. Then the other person is coming in with power, like that's all they have to show, okay? So, right. So as they're doing this though, one of y'all are going to use that relationship as a redemption relationship meaning i'm guessing the person who is coming in with self-love has already done the work on themselves to feel the love and actually give love that they're supposed to be giving so they're going to see this relationship as a redemption while on the other hand the other person who is bringing in the power move the power mode and wanting to control everything is the one who is going to be reducing the the emotional impact of the relationship. Now, am I saying this is a bad thing? No. What I'm saying is that is complete balance. That really is a complete balance because sometimes when people are so loving of themselves, they uh they fall into the mode of accepting what they think they need to accept um, to get the love that they need. But then on the other hand, when someone is too power hungry and controlling, sometimes they just need to be brought back down to earth. So it's a, it's a power dynamic of balance between the two. Okay. Uh, but this is what y'all are coming in the relationship with. Now let's see what the relationship will bring. Okay, so, one, you're going to have to start paying attention to the signs, okay? The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidences, okay? 
So also be aware of codependency. So if you have codependency issues, you need to make sure that you are um, not bringing those into the relationship because addictive behaviors can affect your romantic life, okay? Also, forgive and release those people. It's you. It's literally you that are, is going to have the self-love bringing that in. Why you didn't say nothing? <laughs> it's you. Because you have you have the forgive and release card. Meaning you are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. And then boundaries you're, you're currently learning your boundaries, which is good. Don't get me wrong. That That, that is amazing because a lot of people, I have to tell them that hey, you need to do something about your boundaries, but you're actually doing it. So, and that's the thing, and I'm proud of you, and I'm going to tell you that. Like, you say, I don't know you. Well, you don't know me, but I'm going to tell you right now that I am very much proud of the progress that you have done with your life and in terms of your love life because... Some people can't even get that far, okay? So I'm proud of you for that. Now, with that being said, let's see if y'all actually supposed to be in a relationship because me telling you all of this is not going to do anything but get your hopes up if y'all not even supposed to be in a relationship. So, <laughs> let's see. Thank you for the gifts. Okay, so let's see here. <laughs> you had an all across the board yes. Y'all are supposed to be together. Okay, all right, cool. So yeah, you're very much trying to uh y'all 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 you got all across the board, yes, y'all are supposed to be together. Okay, so you calling him your future boyfriend. You already speaking that into existence. Mm-hmm. You're manifesting that. Okay. But just keep doing what you're doing. It's, it's always going to be high, but I feel like you guys, y'all vibe well together, okay? Y'all vibe well together. Hi! Hey, cats! <laughs> Tux asked about you earlier. Mm -hmm. What happened? You okay, cats? She just asked, she asked if you had been in here. Right? Oh. Oh, I hope you feel better, cats. But yes, um, is there any more questions you wanted to know, Lady Pixie? I like your name, by the way. And look, I understand you on that. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Welcome, you're welcome. Oh, quick, quick one before before you go, Lady Pixie. Let me let me give you um, a message from Spirit. Okay. It says. If you find yourself in a situation that you're unhappy with, ask yourself, why are you still there? Is it a fear of the unknown 
Leaving toxic, toxic situations or people can be the best thing for your soul and your spirit. So be free and fierce. No, I don't, Valerie. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Okay, so we're doing one question per person readings for $5. If you want a full reading, that's $20. My cash app, link tree, and all that stuff. It's in, it's in my link tree in my bio. <laughs> Y'all have the ones who came in late. Y'all missed the giveaway, so I'm so sorry. They look, Pixie. Let me tell you, they they will be loud, and then you be like, really? <laughs> so you had to tell all my business, yes? <laughs> yeah, Tux Tux won. Cat Tux won the giveaway. You missed it. <laughs> Yeah, but cat, cats know the deal though, she, right? She she knows what it is. Um, okay, so on Wednesdays, um, my uh my lives well Wednesdays and Saturdays they they start at one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, Zuli or Zully, Zuli, Zully, how you say your name, sweetheart? So it's one question per person per reading that is five dollars, and if you want a full reading, that's twenty. I am, I I I wore um Zuli. Okay, Zuli, what's your question, sweetheart? Angel, I am sweetheart. I'm always, always. Yesterday I wore um a orange was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday I wore orange and on our Independence Day, which is crap by the way, on our Independence Day I'm gonna be wearing orange then as well. Cause I mean it wasn't it wasn't my independence day, but you know. Yeah. Because honestly, the June Juneteenth isn't even our Independence Day if we really wanna, if we really wanna say it. Juneteenth is not even our Independence Day, because the the last slaves were freed in the 1960s. There was a whole bunch of people who didn't know that they were free until the 1960s. I'm talking about late 1960s. I can pull some general cards for you if you want. Zuli, I got you. I'll pull you some um, cards from my um, my uh, my zero fucks giving card deck. <laughs> if you like that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody likes these cards. They just don't know I have them until I pull them out. <laughs> because I have I have the couples version of these cards too. Okay. All right. So your cards are laugh. Okay. So where's your fucking sense of humor? They're like, you are sitting here always huffing and puffing. They say you need to laugh a little bit more, okay? And then this one is, don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. Yeah, you make people laugh, but I'm talking about you.
So make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Also, it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. <laughs> hey, don't fight me. Tell them. They don't want to bought up the card. <laughs> Yeah, everybody loves these cars. <laughs> You're welcome. Mandy, what kind of, do you have a question, sweetheart? Um... It's 1 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. I saw Mandy. What kind of, what's your question, sweetheart? Um, something with mint in it, cats. You have a headache? Try something with mint or ginger in it. You want to know if you're making the right choice. Okay. And end it with, okay. Okay. Hold up. Cats, where is the headache located? Is it temple or forehead or neck? Or nose area? Yes, I can. It's Oracle. My cards are Oracle, not Tarot. But yes, I can. Alright, so you want to know if you made the right choice by ending the relationship. Yes. They said absolutely. You made the best choice you could make for yourself. Okay? So don't doubt your intuition. Okay, so um, with tarot, we have a set meaning and set numbers of cards. Like, I mean, you can use your intuition with tarot. It's just a little bit more limited, okay? But with Oracle, you don't have a set number of cards and you have your, it's more intuition based. Yeah, I understand that, Mandy, but you know, take your time. Don't rush it. You got this, okay? Remember, I am proud of you for standing up for yourself. You're welcome. Awesome. I'm glad that you're getting those books. I recommended some other books today during, a, during another reading, too. Because somebody was, like, uh, on their journey as well. And so they asked and I sent it to them. I sent them some books. She was older than you, so I sent her a little bit more. Uh, one of them was a little bit more advanced than one of the ones that you, recommendations that you got. Uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. So it depends on what, what books, uh, like what you're looking for. So if you're coming in and you're asking for a reading, $5 for one question per person per reading. If you want a full reading, it's $20. My link tree in my bio has my cash app, my Venmo, and my PayPal. So, hello. Um, yeah. I can give you book recommendations. It just depends on what kind of book you're like, what you're looking for. Most of my books are written by authors of color. So yeah. K 
cats just dipped and I was trying to tell her, I was trying to ask her where her headache was. <laughs> you want the really honest car? You mean these? You mean these? <laughs> these seem to make people like, oh shit, because <laughs> they cuss. So these, so I have these plus the uh, couple deck. So when you get into a relationship, I can read y'all with these two. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so cats. What is, wh where's your headache? In, in the front of your head, um, sinus, neck, or lobe? Like, like, frontal lobe. Temples, not lobe. Temples. <laughs> I mean. For the, right here temples okay so I'm gonna show you something okay I'm gonna show you something all right so a step that you can do is press lightly on your on your temples and move backwards like pull that stress backwards to reach the side of your head it's right by your ear pull that stress all the way down all the way down to your neck. Keep doing it until you go all the way down. Keep doing it until you feel like it. It's going to feel like a little pop. So like. Because most likely yours is a stress headache. And um, unhealthy eating. Maybe a little bit too much salt. Uh... Yeah, try a face massage first, like your face and all that stuff and all that stuff, you know. Try that and see if it works. She, she, her. <laughs> yeah, try a... Okay, so you take t your two fingers here, press, lightly press. And then as you're pressing it, press backwards until you get to your ear and line with your ear and then bring it all the way down to your neck and push it all the way down. So another way you can do it is to take your hands here. I don't want to press it because I might, I might mess up my, uh, so press like here underneath and press all the way to the edges and bring it all the way down like that. Another thing, if you got one of those uh, stone rollers from like Dollar Tree, and I, which one? This dude here? That's Beko from Newest. So let me let me let me show you. I'm gonna show you the uh, the the stone thing I was talking I'm talking about. I knocked over my <laughs> my thing here, but hold on. Let's see. Um, I do every once in a while, but not like it's not like a thing that I want to do all the time. No. So let me show you. Mm, where's that? This thing here. This thing here, cats. So if you have this or one of these, you can legit roll it all over your face and it'll stop your headache because it's like a, it's like a, a massager. Um, I know that there's like other health benefits for it, but you know, no. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's, I, mine cost a dollar at Dollar Tree. Oh, also, for those who um, know that I do my miniatures, you want to see how far I have gotten with my miniatures? 
Sí. Look, I've gotten so far with my miniatures that I've gotten a whole nother row done. So, that's, they're all like little stores. Isn't it cute? <laughs> and then I have a few more to do. I have six more to do. But I have 10, 20, I have like 28 done. But these are cute. Like that's a little candy store, movie theater, a nut store, um, pizza, cat, uh, ice cream, hair salon, toy store, uh, clothing store camera store this is like a little pirate store this is like a little bakery uh this back here is like a wedding dress store uh this is a japanese sushi restaurant a game store uh that's a perfume store uh that's a flower store music store wedding cake store this one is a donut shop uh that's a little japanese toy store and this is i think they had uh the hello kitty register as like a cosmetic store and then this one is like a little the teddy bear store the ryan teddy bear store and then that's disney a disney store so i have a whole bunch of them but like, let me show you, cause I'm putting them together. So here's my, that's my biggest one. And these are big, these are the big ones. So I haven't done those yet, but then I have this one here to do. And this one, it's a witch's store. It's a witch's store. <laughs> eBay. I get them off of eBay. Oh yeah, this is my little. So what you're seeing is like, so this is my K-pop corner here. And <laughs> that's all my K-pop stuff. And then the, that's the lamp that I just got. Now if you see here that's bethany and that's standing up the statue that's bethany she's a fertility goddess i'm not trying to get pregnant but you know fertility can mean a bounty of anything else but then look there's my junk cook and then my baby daddy i am <laughs> but yeah this is my k-pop corner here oh that's my k-pop corner that's the albums I have more albums. That's their coffee. All of their coffee. My friend bought me all of those bracelets for my birthday. <laughs> and then these are all my books. But here's my albums. Some of my albums. Yes, here's my baby daddy. Everybody knows this. And then Yep. Oh, but look, I made this. I made this. So, what I did was I went to um it's right, they do. Like legit. Like people who have talked to me, they know for a fact if I say that who's my baby daddy they will tell me Nam June. everybody who knows me so but this right here i printed this off and then went to dollar tree and got this tumbler here where you can make it and i just put the paper in there so now i made my own bc21 tumbler i made one for um 
You want one? If they if they still have these, I don't know if they have the the tumblers anymore at Dollar Tree. But if I do, I'll make you one, cats. I promise. But yeah, so I have I have the huge version of the Uno and then the regular size one. Yeah. But all my friends bought me those. <laughs> and then this is my photo card um thing here. <laughs> so like let me show you. So I'm part of a K-pop Discord, right? And so, in my K-pop Discord, it's for like 26 and older, I think. But, they are my, um, the, they're my pen pals. And so, they send me all kinds of photo cards along with everything else. So, they actually sent me that right there for my, for Christmas. It's a RM calendar is nothing but rm in there <laughs> but yeah i know right look at them just look at them. and these are the ones they made my group made these isn't it amazing look at that just god dang he fine <laughs> he is fine look at that isn't that cute so like they're very talented like they made these they know who my bias is so that's exactly what they send me <laughs> Him. and then they know that my uh, bias record is Tay so they'll send me that and I say real for real for real y'all trying to take me out <laughs> yeah they, they, don't, they don't love me man they be trying to take me out <laughs> and then yeah, look, look, just look at it just look at it just look at it because I told I told them that my um, my records are J-Hope and uh, 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 Tay so they be sending me all kinds of crazy stuff <laughs> yeah but they also send other gifts too like this this here, don't mind this. My nephew crumbled it up. The baby that y'all see all the time on my lives, he crumbled it up and I haven't thrown away yet because I have to transfer it. I have to transfer my information. <laughs> he crumbled it up. I didn't even get mad at him though because I thought it was funny. Because it is funny because he's a little baby. But, so all of this here is all the things that they have sent me. All the letters and things like that. All these stickers here. All of these are stickers and photo cards that they have sent me. So, yeah. Oh, the baby's not here today. He is. He is normally. Um, he's here when he need to be. And then they sent me this here. Oh, yes. That's my tattoo. That is my permanent protection. <laughs> so, mm hmm. Along with the evil eye bracelet that I made. So. Oh, cats. I can also make uh, make you one of these evil eye bracelets, too, if you want. Because I have beads and stuff for that. So. But also, I made, like, little uh, tiny tan cards for them. So, I'm going to show them to y'all. I made them like tiny tan photo cards for them. So when I send out gifts for them, I include a little tiny tan photo card for them. <laughs> so I know it's so cute, but I'm always finding something cute to do. And whatnot, right? So I send that to them. That, including um, what else? I send them. They're in here somewhere. This is like my K-pop drunk drawer. <laughs> I 
uh, these. I send them with these. Yes, I have my own laminator, yes. So I take these and I create a BTS um, uh, keychain and I put it together with this along with these here. So what I did was I when I was finding my Oracle cards online, the digital ones that I was telling y'all about before, I um, misprinted them wrong and they came out small. So instead of throwing them away, I turned them all into like little things. So what I'm going to do is when I start sending out more keychains for my group, I'm going to pick a card to go on the keychain for them to listen as encouragement. So these are super duper small. See, these are my mini ones. And this is... <laughs> Like, this is my mini ones. Okay, so this is my mini ones compared to the size of my hand. Right? And then here's the, here's the keychains. <laughs> so, but I have these. I finally did them the right way. So here's the mini, mini version of the keychain. So... See, it says distract yourself and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna put those. Instead of throwing them away, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to throw them away. I'm just going to, you know, give them away to my, my crew. Because sometimes people just need reminders. And so I felt like these could be like, hold on, let me, let me flip it around again. So I felt like these could be like little reminders for them because you know, people go through things. And so if they're always on, if they always have them like on deck, they can be able to pay attention to it. So like, say for instance, I, um, I have a friend or I'm gonna intuitively figure out who needs one, which one. But, so for instance, I have a friend who is always like, I need to free myself. I will send her this keychain. And it'll always be, free yourself. You know what I mean? So, you're welcome. So, but yeah, I would never, um, I would always try to help people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That I am. I'm, I'm forever organized. Like, you want to know how legit organized I am? Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you. So, I... So, these, when, I, when I'm done with my minis, I put all the stuff in, in, the, in the bags, and I label them and put them away in the closet, so that way I can do... But, I have... Everything, so you saw my K-pop corner, right? I have that, but on the other side is my crafting corner. So let me show y'all that. If you, if you wanna see that. Do you wanna see my crafting corner? I mean, it's fine if you don't. But I can show you my crafting corner. All right. So this is my crafting corner. And so these are the boxes for uh, the ones that I have or started to complete it. So I just recently completed that one. Y'all saw that one over there. But this one is in the box waiting to be uh, finished today. So I'm going to finish that sometimes. But, okay. So here is um, the one that I just finished. So that's why it's here, but it's going to be put in the closet. But, I have these bins everywhere. And so this particular bin is housing all my stuff for um, numerology and washi tape. So those are my recent washi tape that I got from Dollar Tree. And, but these are some extra papers that I'm going to be using for, oh, there's somebody's card. Look at there. <laughs> I don't know who card that is, but it'll, 
it is what it is. Okay, so I found these printouts here on uh, Etsy. They were like $5. So I got them to organize my rituals and my spells in my book of shadows. So with that, that's how organized I am. Plus, each drawer has a different thing. Like this one up here is my um, planner stuff. Uh, the second drawer is my pens and my markers. The third drawer is all of my uh, tools. So if you need a screwdriver, hammer, ruler, uh, my uh, clay, polymer clay tools are in there. All that. And then the next one over here um, is my first kind of like drunk drawer. But it has like crafting stuff in it. The second one has like uh, makeup and hair stuff in it. The third one has all my sewing stuff in it. So, and then over here is some more, some more books. Some more books. And that is my humidifier. That is how I actually won that humidifier um, at a, at a um, festival. So, yes, I do sew. Uh-huh. So I um I signed up for it. Didn't think I was gonna win it. And they were like, "You won." And I'm like, "Yeah." And then I, all I had to do was sit through like a a seminar for like 45 minutes. But then he realized that I wasn't gonna buy it from him. So he only talked to me for about 30 minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, cause nobody really get to see any of my room. So this right here, I put spring water in it with a little bit of Florida water, which is uh, this here, which is my protection. Because it's Florida water with peppermint and a little bit of spray from Mama's Cologne in it. So I have blessed it to anoint whatever um, protection stuff I need. So I put it in there. So I just turn it on and it's an instant cleanse of my room. So yeah. And then this is Bethany, my fertility goddess. So she's she's holding on to stuff, and don't get me wrong, um, huh? How do I use? Oh, oh, so this right here, talking about this. So this right here is Florida water. Everybody talks about this, right? But the thing is, Florida water, its original purpose is like for toilet toilet cologne, for like when you use the bathroom, but it's. In the um, history of like hoodoo and all that stuff, they tend to use it for, for that. So what you would do is when you get it, you used to bless it and anoint it to protect, okay? Um, and that's what I did. And I have like several bottles of this that I anoint and protect. And I add stuff to it as well. Hi. And yeah, so I take these two things here and put them in that and turn it on. And when I turn it on, it cleanses my entire room and I don't have to worry about this particular room. And I can just tote it all over the house if I need to. <laughs> but, yeah. So that is... Um, but then... See, looks can be deceiving because I have all this stuff on the table because of uh, me reading and whatnot. But when you move the table, underneath this table, I have... It organized. Hold on, let me move this. It's a bag of trash. <laughs> All right, so let me move it. So I have my head wrappings. Where? Oh, you can get that online. You can get that on Amazon. You can get it anywhere. Okay. So I have my head wrappings here. This is all my head wrappings, and also yarn for when I make hats and stuff because I make hats. If you didn't know that, <laughs> you know now. So I make hats as well. Uh, and then, hold on, move this. I'm moving this table back even further. Okay, so also, here's other projects that I do. This is for growing food. Um... This is what my ex-spiritual brother used to call my weapon. It's literally 64 ounces of, of water. 
But I have to clean it because I haven't cleaned it in a minute. But here's a good thing. Hold on, let me get it. Eh. This is my uh, my extra my extra um, leftovers of spiritual stuff. So all of these, if you go to Dollar Tree and get some salt and stuff like that, all of these are extra stuff that you can just put um, mixtures in, empty mixtures in, and all that stuff. And then, as you see, I got a shit ton of salt because I make salt mixtures. So, if you see all these salt here, I make, um, let's see, I can show you two. Hold on. Let's see. I think one is in here. <laughs> but this is my closet where all of my stuff is. As you see, these are all, this is including the bag of the rest of them. Uh, I don't think I have my hats in here. But I have two hats that I've kept. I mean, y'all have seen them before. Y'all really have. <laughs> See my huge bed? Uh, apparently not. I guess y'all can't see the hats today because I have no idea where I put them. I literally have no idea where I put my hats. So, <laughs> it was actually given to me. A friend of mine give, gave it to me. Yeah, see it's huge. It's messy, but it's huge. And then I got all my uh, stuffies on there. <laughs> it was given to me. That bed was absolutely given to me. And I thank goodness every day for her for giving it to me. So, but yeah. Apparently, I can't find the hats. So, and but one of, one of these days when I find them, I will show them to you. But I absolutely adore my hats. And um, it's... Okay, so one of them is the black knit hat that y'all always see in my, in my, um, oh, so a trick to getting more stuffies, a trick to getting more stuffies is when you, um, wait for the holidays to be over and go get them. Oh, okay. So here's one. Here's one of my hats. My beanie that I make. Yeah, but if you wait to after the holidays, say for instance, they have them on sale for Easter and all that stuff, right? If you wait to after that holiday is over, you can get them for half off. So yeah, and then I have another one that is purple and gray, but for some reason it is hiding. And then I have one that has ear flaps that I've made. That is hiding. That might be in my closet, but y'all can't go in my closet. <laughs> so, but yes. See, this is my box with the, the new, this one has the uh, little flower house in it. So, we can't wait. Oh yeah, I'm always getting something on, on clearance. Best believe I am always getting stuff on clearance. Oh, but guess what else I found at Dollar Tree? So, oh, here it is. Okay, sorry. Let's drink a smoothie early. Okay, so here's my other hat. My, my other beanie. That made But this is what I found at Dollar Tree. It was a shit ton of glitters. So I got a container for them. And I put, hold on, let me, 
let me let me set everything back up <laughs> and put everything away so I can show y'all really I am like throwing everything <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm putting y'all on the stand now. So it doesn't look like a horror movie. <laughs> All right. Hi. <laughs> so it doesn't look like a horror movie. Okay. So, well, this is about to come off. Anyway. All right, so I got this, right? But they came in like little little packets. So I just poured the contents in this. Awesome, that's good. That's good that you feel better. So I got a total of like four packs of six different glitters for four dollars and then I got these containers which came in a pack of six for four dollars plus the little this big container here which was a dollar so I ended up paying nine dollars for all of this but it's organized look it's organized <laughs> I was so excited to get it all organized but I'm going to be putting these in my um, my spiritual mixes and stuff like that, so. It, it might incriminate me because I use, like, <laughs> I'll put it in my spiritual candles and whatnot, make it be pretty and shit. And they'll be like, oh, somebody hit me with this bomb and whatnot, this this uh, spiritual bomb and whatnot, and it has glitter in it. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, Jar did that. <laughs> But yeah, I have that. But also, let me tell you how amazing my friends are. Guess what they got me for my birthday one year? <sighs> they got me this for my birthday. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, yeah, I like that. All right. How am I so stress free? Not giving a damn. It depends on what kind of it. It depends on what kind of insect. But I have that, and then all of my books. But all of my books, it just depends on what kind of books you're looking for and whatnot. And I can give you recommendations of those. But, yeah, I'm st it depends on what kind of... Uh, let's see, bugs. Flies and ants. Okay. Uh, ants can, can promote unity. Also, ants can promote strength. Um... Um, flies, they really are a sign of, like, when things are wrong, when things are bothering you, when things are just aggravating you. So, that can help you a lot as well. So, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Look what I also got myself. I got myself this. It's a tweezer set for um, when I do my, my miniatures. I got so excited. 
I got that and this lamp for myself. <laughs> All right. But I'll pull a general card and then I'm going to go, okay? <laughs> All right, so general cards for y'all. Take whatever uh, resonates with you, okay? Fuck, shit is about to get real. You need your people around you. Then, get the fuck outside and move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. You just can't shake the feeling that little voice inside you, listen to that shit. <laughs> and then it says, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone who is worth it. Don't waste your time on ridiculousness. Okay? So. Alright. I hope everybody is doing well. And having fun, but I'm going to go, okay? All right. See y'all Wednesday, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's the free live, okay? But get in there early because when people start hitting, they're going to be like, oh, uh, I want my reading. And I'm going to tell you, uh, there's going to be a list. So, yeah. All right. Bye-bye.